Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday, February, February 16th. And I still got my work clothes on. You know, that means I have some hit the deck returns. I actually got five returns in total. Mwah. And I got a couple of goodies from some friends. So we're gonna actually start with friend mail. First thing is from Chase and Inc. Now I knew he was sending me this Autographers Anonymous podcast postcard. I knew I was getting that. Very cool. I think Scott needs to draw himself in up here. He's an artist. He needs to he needs to put his pen to work there. Um, Chase put a little note here. Thanks for the support. And Chase, you know I admire your channel. A big fan of yours. And you threw in some other stuff. It's pretty obvious, Chase, that you pay attention to what I collect and, and what I'm after because you were able to... Well, now that I think about it, you asked for a list, didn't you? Either way, I'm grateful that you're thinking of me. Uh, there's an 86 Tops Floyd Bannister for the set. These are all set hits. Rich Amaral, 92 Ultra. Love me some 92 Ultra. David Segui on the 92 Pinnacle. Also love that set. One of the first families of Seattle. Seattle baseball, the Seguis. Doug Drabeck. How often do you see a Doug Drabeck that is not personalized? My understanding is, is that if you get him in person, he doesn't personalize. But if you mail it to him, he does. Typically, that's opposite of what you'll see players players do. And then there's the chase card. Literally and figuratively, the chase card. You need one of these if you don't. Chase and Inc., thank you. Uh, channel link below. I imagine if you're following Eddie's Baseball Autographs, you're already following Chase and Inc. So, Scott at Rez Resin Deer Studios sent me something. If you were on Flying Dutchman's live stream on Sunday, you'll get why, why I said Resin Deer Studios. Um, I'm guessing I came in late. So I'm guessing there was a typo or something. And then they just kept saying that for the rest of the stream. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'll go ahead and link Flying Dutchman below too. But again, I imagine if you follow me, you follow Flying Dutchman. You follow Chase and Inc. You follow Resin Deer Studios. But let's see what you did here. Um, oh, some vintage. Wow. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so Eddie has the Eddie approved blue tape and Scott has the Scott approved green tape. And I don't know if this is supposed to like be a thing where we're sort of making a case for our favorite tape. Both are are fantastic, of course. And as long as it's not scotch tape that's gooing up the loaders, you're fine by me. So, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, Scotch is saying, congratulations on winning my Sean Tiford giveaway giveaway. Some extra goodies. Okay, so you already sent me, um, Scott actually sent me this this ring light, which I am learning how to use. And one thing I learned right away is you can't have it at full intensity because it will check it. Ghost Eddie. Nighttime Eddie. So I'm learning yeah, kind of where the middle ground is. Thank you, Scott. Look at this on a 56 tops. White Wilhelm, the knuckler, the first pitcher to appear in a thousand games. Hoyt Wilhelm. Since then, there's been about five others, I think. I think there's five or six total in the thousand inning club. But uh, Hoyt, or sorry, not inning, appearance. Appearances. There it is, the Scott approved tape. Did not have this Hoyt. Love me some 56. That's pretty sharp. I imagine you got that at Triple Play Vintage. 
which is such a world-renowned card shop that I know where it is. I, I know what it is, and I'm 2,000 miles away. Here we go, an action-packed, nice Mike Pritchard. You might see some more action pack in a few minutes when we do our TTMs, which is right now. I'm going to take the rest of the tape off. Scott approved, approved green tape. Thank you, Scott. Those totally bonus cards. And I uh, really appreciate it. Love, love them both. Thank you. Good job. So here we go from Orlando, Florida. 13 days. Two for two. This is... TTM legend and baseball uh, uh, TTMer himself, Mr. Pat Neshek. Two for two. I got these Cognac cards, 2011 Cognac, in a lot up at eBay. Mostly I bought the lot because they had a Seeger rookie and I had an Ichiro in it. But I knew there were some cards I could TTM. These were two of them, duplicates. That means one of them is going to the giveaway stack for the end of the month. If you're new to the channel, tune in the last Sunday of the month for a chance to win that Pat Neshek card. One for one, 13 days, Denver, Colorado. Check it out. So this was in a pack that I got from Brock's Boys and Aaron that I got in another giveaway. And it was a hockey pack, and I'm really upping my hockey game this year because uh, at the end of the year, Seattle's going to have a team, so I need to sort of up my knowledge. So I opened the pack, and like I recognized a couple of names because it was from the early 90s. And I got looking, I got researching, and I had four Hall of Famers in the pack. And two of them TTM. And here's one of them, Michael Goulet. One for one, Hall of Fame autograph. Watched a little mini, mini doc off of YouTube about him before I sent. It was like a 10 minute thing. And it was really interesting. It's a great, seemed like a great dude and uh, had a great career. So four for four, 85 days. This is a longer envelope. That tells me it's a football return that I had to put on a card. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting to be a mess here. So this is Tim McGee. There is the 90 action pack. There's the 92, I believe. I'm still getting some of the years straightened out. There's two more. There's the Ultra I love so much. Same design for football, same year. And the Stadium Club. The Bengal, Tim McGee, four for four. Okay, hit the deck. This is why we have to do these immediately. I couldn't make this video tomorrow. This one I pre-opened. And it says two for three, 23 days from San Jose, California. It's sort of two for three. I don't know. I'll let you decide. It's not going to count for hit the deck, even though there's writing on the card. I'll explain in a minute. So here's the card. It's Mark Icorn. And I really sent to him to get the hit the deck success. I'll probably put these in the giveaway stack because I already have these. I got these. Uh, like last July, I got Mark Icorn, and I think I have both of these. So I'll be paying those forward. So I sent him uh, two of spades, and I thought, well, he's a two-time World Series champ. So I'll put a little post-it at the bottom. He was on both the 90, 92, and 93 Blue Jays. So I'll put a little post-it at the bottom saying, please inscribe two-time World Series champs. So he did that. Here it is. Two-time World Series champ. There's no autograph. So maybe I could have been, there's the back, more specific. But it's okay. I, I appreciate that he took the time to sign the cards. And that's a swing and a miss on that. I'm not even going to try to ask um, Troy to count that. It's, it's not signed. The goal is to get them signed. Now, this one is um, really cool. So, uh, I sent this. I don't have the date on it yet. I forgot to look it up. It's been about a month. So, my one of my favorite all-time TV shows is Northern Exposure. And 
one of the main characters was Maurice Minifield, who was a former astronaut, and he sort of um, he was sort of like the George Steinbrenner of Sicily, Alaska, and he sort of he thought he ran the place and he had money and he was going to make it the oh what did he call it the uh, anyway the beacon of of Alaska. So John Colum and, uh, no, sorry, John Colum played another character. Barry Corbin played Maurice Menefield. So years ago, I got John Colum's autograph, and he played Holly Mincourt. And I mentioned in my letter to Barry Corbin that um, I already had John's autograph, and then... I cited the episode that John said was his favorite. So on the back of this envelope, it says, I agree with John. Still don't know what's in it. I sent two customs, I believe, and I hit the debt card. So I'm gonna pull out just one thing at a time. So here's my here's my King of the Hill custom. He's a drill, um, not a drill sergeant, a uh, fire chief. In that episode and that's just his name fire chief he had maybe 10 lines on the whole episode there it is best wishes barry corbin very excited um if you if you imdb barry corbin i promise you know who he is he's just one of these character actors here is my northern exposure custom i'm sort of hoping that the bottom area gets signed down here where the brick is or rosin's cafe rather but he signed it up here. I'm still very happy with that. It'll look really good next to the uh, John Cullum that I already have. The only two Northern Exposure autographs I have. I've tried to get others, and who is a tough cast? It's a tough cast. Here's the Hit the Deck card. We're doing this together. King for King of the Hill. It is, yeah, it's on there. It's not super great. It's a ballpoint, and on these playing cards, they just don't come through here. Let me, there we go as much, but you see over here where he wrote his name. So I will get credit for the one, but, uh, wow, what a big day after a holiday, a male holiday that happens. And I've been better about getting things sent out. That's it for today. Let me know what your favorite thing is below. Um, did you watch Northern Exposure? Did you get to watch that show? Do you have a favorite character or something? I'd love to talk about the show because I love it so much. Uh, until next time, I don't think we'll beat this, but <laughs> you never know. We'll see ya. And remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.